Good morning everyone, I'll be presenting my final project for CS50W web development with Python and JavaScript. Um, for my final project I did a kind of a stack overflow lookalike uh, application. Right, so that will be some uh, functionalities to make questions, do responses, and uh, kind of like search for questions and upvote, downvote, and bookmark this question. This question. So I'll start showing some of the authentications um, abilities for the for the uh, web page. So first of all, when once we go to the root directory of the application, if we're not logged in. We're going to get red redirected to the login page. In this case, if we don't have a user, let's make it a user. Let's call it test user, right? And it's going to be a test that. We do some password, right? Test user. Okay, and we're logged in. Right, if we go and we can go to the to my profile page right we have test user uh, I didn't create a first name and last name but then I can uh, log log out and then I can go test user and then do my password that should get me in the application again and as we see there's a bunch of uh, already pre-populated questions uh, all of these are basically examples so uh, I'm going to show you um, the all page. So this is a, a page with all the questions that have been created ordered by when they were created. So the latest question is the first one here. Um, and then I can have, I can have uh, the functionality to upvote this questions, right? So that uh, increases to one, this increases to two. And let's say I want to downvote this one that decreased to two and then as well I can show this one goes to minus one if I downvote it so I can upvote and downvote the questions same way that I can bookmark this questions right so I can bookmark that one this one and this one you see how the icon changes and then um, I can go to the, to a page that shows me the list of all the questions that I have bookmarked right so only those three if I delete this if I bookmark unbookmark that one we'll see that it disappeared same with the upvoted right I have two questions that were upvoted if I go and upvote another one so I go back to upvoted oh, let's do let's do this one here right. so I can go and there I have the three of them Right, so we have bookmarked, upvoted. Same way, I can, I can bookmark that page. Uh, in the same way, I can create an, a new question. So if I go to write a new question, and it's like, how does this work? And then I can, I can just just do some random text in here, submit question, and then I can see there that uh, directed me to the to the question page, right? So in this one, we see as well if it's bookmarked, how many votes and answers does it has, and I have the functionality to delete it or edit it. Um, I can do an answer. For now, I, I, I'm just gonna do an answer. It's like, try clicking the blue button, right? Just whatever uh, random answer that is. But when once we have the answer here, it says, uh, answered by test user and uh, it's it has the answer here right and as well I can edit and delete that answer if I go to another question that maybe has more answers how do I how do I do a for loop uh, we can imagine that's the uh, that's the question right uh, this are the answers right answered by Harry Harry uh, answered by Ron and then I can do another answer try uh, try or something like that, right, whatever that is. And I can see my answer there, I can edit it, right? I'm just going to edit that question. When I save it, it's there, it's edited. 
uh, same way I can delete it and the question is deleted and same thing I can do with my question right if I see it here I have the buttons either at the list page or at the at the question page so I can edit this how does it works uh, and then I'm just gonna write edit it here right. and you can see it there if we go to the all questions you can see it's edited same way I can delete it and now it's deleted and I can log out that will be all for her application. Thanks.